Breaking news. Are you ready for an analysis that could change the game for Ohio State in their upcoming showdown against the fierce Nittany Lions? Today, we're diving into a strategy that could be the key to breaking through Penn State's powerful defense. But hang tight, we'll get there step by step. Stick with us till the end because what we're about to reveal might just be the secret to opening up the path to victory for the Buckeyes. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. This is where you get all things Ohio State, with exclusive insights and the latest team news. Now, let's find out what Ohio State can learn from USC's success against Penn State. Let's get right to it. So far, only one Big Ten team has managed to put real pressure on Penn State, USC. The Trojans put up an impressive 30 points against the relentless Nittany Lions defense and even pushed them into overtime. The most impressive part? Even with all that pressure, Penn State's defense stood strong, ultimately taking home the win. But what exactly did USC do that work, and how could this be the key for Ohio State? The answer lies in USC's game style. The Trojans opened up their aerial attack with a strong running game, controlling the trenches. This approach of setting up the pass by establishing the run could be the turning point Ohio State needs. With two formidable running backs and a strong offensive line, the Buckeyes have the right pieces to try to replicate this formula. Looking at USC's Joe Quavius Marks and Quinton Joyner, we see that both players ran for over 80 yards each, with Marks totaling an incredible 111 yards on 20 attempts. Altogether, USC managed nearly 200 rushing yards against Penn State's defense. Of course, this mission won't be easy, Penn State's defense has earned its reputation for a reason. But if Ohio State, under offensive coordinator Chip Kelly, can create a game plan that leans on the run to open up the field for passing, they may finally find a way to crack this defense and keep a consistent offensive pace all the way to the end zone. This might be the Buckeyes' ace for controlling the game and keeping their offense running smoothly. So Buckeyes, you've got the scoop. Against Penn State, running the ball might just be the best way to open doors. What do you think? Can the Buckeyes make this adjustment and achieve the same success as USC? Stay tuned to the channel for every detail of this epic matchup and to see how Ohio State fares on the field.